rapper I want to uh, mention. So you said uh, over here they had Bun B on it. Mm -hmm. And you see Jordan Breeze in that playing playing tag along called Jeezy was fucking with it. That's the whole thing. Niggas forget what really was going on. On getting money over here, who walked in the club with Jeezy first? Blue Da Vinci and Jody Breeze. You can watch the cameras on video on YouTube. Bro, I mean, they he right had, there. He had that CTE chain on. That big that rose gold. That and he had the rose gold Jacob. Like, yeah. That's before rap. That's before the deals. So who... And my point is, if Jeezy... If Meech was funding Jeezy, why... Why wouldn't he never had no BMF chains? You know what I'm saying? You go back and watch all them old videos of Meech being with Jeezy and Jeezy being with Meech. I bet you're going to see CTE all over Jeezy. He had the Porsche truck in the, in the Ferrari, though. Who? Jeezy? Yeah, that was Meech's. I mean, Meech gave him that because he was trying to sign him. You know, you're trying to will a nigga in. I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah, yeah. but I'm just saying, you know how you will a nigga in? You try to give him perks and gifts, thinking that. But at the same time, you giving a nigga a Porsche truck and a Ferrari, he can really go buy it himself. Blue was always a hater. That's why I don't really f with Blue. Cause Blue was a hater, man. I don't care what you say. Blue was a hater. He didn't, he didn't like nothing about Jeezy. I'm just going to keep it real. He didn't like nothing about Jeezy. He didn't like Jeezy had his own crew. And they was Crips. He swear he brought the Crip shit around. He brought the Crip shit around BMF problem. But Jeezy knew about Crips before BMF. Before BMF, it was a making Georgia and Kinky B. You feel me? Let's go. We we take it back, and they've been cripping forever. So you didn't bring that shit to Jeezy. You brought that shit to Meech and them. But that shit wasn't nothing. That nigga was monkey man. You heard Jeezy's song, Three Strikes. You know he was in a movie called Three Strikes. That was Jeezy. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was Jeezy yeah, told yeah. us that you better go, boy, you better go back over there. And then he tried to make a diss song on Jeezy. Man, Blue was just whack. Um, the fans said it on the documentary. What's the face? A white federal agent said we knew they weren't making no money off music called Blue was trash. This is a white man. Everybody knew Blue was trash. I hate when he did that, when Jeezy had to do that song for him and um, Fab. Fab. Streets on Lock. Yeah, that shit was whack. You weren't messing with that? Street, streets on Lock was garbage. Now, you want to go back to Jeezy and Fab song? Word. They do the damn thing. Uh -huh. That was hard, right? It was classic. That Streets on Lock was trash. I thought it had a cool little beat, man. Man, Jeezy and Fab killed it. For sure. I don't know what Blue did. Man, the only reason I was asking about uh, Blue Da Vinci is because he was like the poster child for them as the record label, as the on the music side. That's why I asked That's him. how you know it was bullshit. Like, come on, man. He was the poster child for their music, right? What music? I can't name a Blue mixtape, a Blue album. That's all I'm saying, man. And that's why he hated Jeezy. Jeezy came around and took your shine. And you didn't like it. You had Meech trying to sign Jeezy. Two, three million. You don't, you don't believe me? Ask Carbon 1-5. Ask Kinky B. Coach K, they shut it down. No, we ain't signing no B on man. Boy, you crazy? Jeezy would have did it. Because he just wanted to, you know. He, you know, him and, he, he, he fucked with Meech. You know what I'm saying? Him and Meech had, you know, he fucked with Meech. So, at the end of the day, he probably would have did it, but Kink and Coach was like, hell no. What we signed to be on that for? Nigga, you got your own money. You got your own label. And them niggas can't get us in Targets and Walmarts. Mm. They can't get us on in record stores. These niggas is really drug dealers, nigga. What are you talking about? Just be honest. Just be honest. The only artist they had was Blue. So the, so the stuff that Blue was saying about how he, um, Jeezy kind of took his whole like image your style and all of that, even the, I know you mentioned the game, man, you already touched on that, but none of that was true. Man, what image, what image did Blue have? I'm not asking you, but I'm just saying, like, nobody wanted to believe Blue Da Vinci. I'm just, I'm just being honest, man. I didn't, I seen Blue, I didn't want to be Blue Da Vinci. You was Big Meech's artist. You wasn't his goon. You wasn't his killer. You wasn't, you, nigga, you was just his artist. And you reaped the benefits of his drug dealing. That's all. You reap the benefits. You got the cards, the clothes, the jewelry because they was trying to push it. And if you can see after Jeezy signed to Def Jam and Bad Boy and we didn't sign to BMF, whatever they was trying to do, you see how he tried to do a real push behind Blue. 
You know what I'm saying? Try to do a little, little run. They, they, they doing all this shit, man. That shit wasn't going to work. Blue is never a star. What, what do you think about the stuff that has come out recently on them? <clears throat> Even like with Meech and uh, Blue Da Vinci, like the whole allegations about him cooperating. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, man, I was with you. That's that's something they got. I ain't got nothing to do with that because I'm not being on that. I'm CTE. For sure. Like, so. For sure, for sure. For you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. I got you. I respect that. I respect that. Uh, man, uh, just one more rapper I want to uh, mention. So you said uh, over here, they had Bun B on it. Mm hmm. And you see Jordan Breeze in that playing, playing tag along called Jeezy was fucking with it. That's the whole thing. Niggas forget what really was going on. On getting money over here, who walked in the club with Jeezy first? Blue Da Vinci and Joe De Breeze. You can watch the cameras on the video on YouTube. Bro, I mean, they right there. He had that CTE chain on. That big you know, rose gold. That's your and he had the rose gold Jacob. Like, yeah. That's before rap. That's before the deals. So, who? And my point is, if Jeezy, if Meech was funding Jeezy, why, why wouldn't he never had no BMF chains and shit? You know what I'm saying? You go back and watch all them old videos of Meech being with Jeezy and Jeezy being with Meech. I bet you're going to see CTE all over Jeezy. He had the Porsche truck in the, in the Ferrari, though. Who? Jeezy? Yeah, that was Meech's. I mean, Meech gave him that because he was trying to sign him. You know, you're trying to will a nigga in. I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah, yeah. but I'm just saying, you know how you will a nigga in? You try to give him perks and gifts, thinking that. But at the same time, you giving a nigga a Porsche truck in a Ferrari, he can really go buy it himself. That's what they felt to realize. They felt to realize. They tried to, they tried to think like Meech gave Jeezy all his money or me, Jeezy was spending Meech money or. No, that was all Jeezy paper. That was Jeezy and Kink doing. I seen it with my own eyes. You feel me? I didn't, I didn't, when I first met Jeezy for the first time and we was at Patchwork Studio, the nigga was buying jerseys. He was buying a bunch of jerseys from Exclusive Game, right? Oh yeah, exclusive game. He was yeah. buying a bunch of jerseys. Everybody in the studio, Meech, everybody. They got on minks. They buying jerseys, old dog and them, baby. Everybody buying all type of shit from exclusive game. Jeezy tell me go to the car and grab three bundles out the armrest. I open the armrest, probably like a hundred bundles. Money rolled up in like this. You feel me? And he on and this is like the first or second day of him even meeting me. He sending me to his car to And I'm looking like, God damn, a lot of motherfucking money in here. You know what I'm saying? So, I know for a fact Jeezy had his own paper. I know. I ain't go. It can't take nothing away from him and King. When I first met King, King had a million dollar house in Alpharetta. and still probably do. You said when you first met him, he had a million dollar house? Hell yeah. Damn. King tell you himself, he was a, King said he had a million dollars at 17. Like, them niggas been getting paper. You know what I'm saying? Like, like when I, nigga, I remember Jeezy had an old school. Him and King had matching 4 4 twos. Talking about retarded, nigga. Me and Jeezy almost lost that bitch in front of Walter because he hit that motherfucker. That motherfucker fishtailed and did 360. And I remember our first concert, well, one of our first concerts in the country, right? King and Jeezy had the matching 4 4 2. We pulled up to that motherfucker. Nigga, I'm talking about with the buttoning rims, buttoning motherfucking steering wheel. Talking about retarded shit. Nigga, matter of fact, kink shit fucking wouldn't start. We had to get this shit told back. Cause you know how the old schools be, nigga. But nigga, matter of fact, I wanna say Jeezy cousin, Shakree, whatever his name is, had knocked out one of the crib niggas, right? This is the first time I've ever been around the gang shit. Because you gotta understand the crib shit didn't come to Atlanta until we moved to Thug Mansion. You feel me? So when I was so when I first got with Jeezy, it was just me, him, Coach, Five Chief, and Dank. Five Chief and Dank wasn't no gang members. Okay. They, they was kids down there. Jeezy been having them since high school from the Young Guns Entertainment. Mm -hmm. So when they first came around, I knew Jeezy was a. I know Jeezy and Kink was cripping. Some OG Crips, as far as I know, because they got the money, ooh, ooh, whatever. And they were still young. They was, yeah, they were probably in their 30s. Oh, they went in their 20s? Oh, okay. No, they was in their 30s. Oh, okay. Because I was in my 20s. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. No matter of fact, they probably was in their 20s, too. I thought they was in their 20s. They was in their 20s, yeah, too. Yeah, that's what I Because they probably was two years older than me, so if I was 22, they was like 25, 26, maybe 27. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. They way, right? Yeah, they was already having it their way. Like, you said somebody knocked out one of the crypts, though? Yeah, um, um, Jeezy Cutter knocked out one of the crypts.